In today's unit circle survival guide, we're going to look at 60, 30, 90 triangles. And I said it very intentionally like that. These are the same triangles as the 30, 60, 90 triangles. So if you've watched that video, you'll see so many similarities here. It's all about the orientation of the triangle and which leg is oriented horizontally versus vertically. All right, so here we have a unit circle and we're focusing on the angles that have 60 degrees or pi over three as their reference angle. So remember that's just how much rotation to get back to the X axis. And we'll go ahead and label those. Today's video is not to focus on how to label all of the unit circle special angles in degrees or radians. I will link to that um, to those videos in the video description, but we are really trying to figure out how can we label these ordered pairs? So we are working with our 60 degree angle here. We know that this one must be 120. This one must be 240 in the third quadrant. And then we have 300 in the fourth. Okay, and then these are pi over three, two pi over three, four pi over three, and five pi over three. So again, if you're unsure of how to label these, just go check those videos out. But we are trying to label this ordered pair. So our unit circle is centered on the origin for our purposes now. And we know that we call it a unit circle because its radius is one. So keep that in mind. We're going to make use of that fact in a few minutes. So let's sketch in a triangle and then we'll break out and remind ourselves of this triangle's side ratios. Okay, so here we have a triangle. We know that this angle is 60 degrees. We know that we have a 90 degree angle. And then we know the other must be 30. And that's because the angles of a triangle sum to 180. So let's sketch that out to the side. So quick sketch here of a 60, 30, 90 triangle. And so there are special relationships to know about these triangle sides. We know that the short leg that's across from the 30 degree angle, we can label X. And we know that the hypotenuse must be twice that length. Then the longer leg, which is opposite of the 60 degree angle, is our short side times the square root of three. So these ratios come in handy all the time and we are going to be able to use them for our particular triangle on the unit circle so that we can find this ordered pairs coordinates. All right, so we have to figure out what we already know. And that is our hypotenuse's length. We actually know the hypotenuse's length because this is a unit circle, and so its radius is one. So since we know the hypotenuse is one, and based on our special right triangle knowledge, we know that the short side should be half of that because the hypotenuse is double the length of the short side. So opposite of our 30 degree angle, our shorter side should be half of one or one half. And then it's really easy to find the longer leg opposite of the 60 degree angle. We know it's just the short side times square root of three. So one half times square root of three is square root of three over two. And so now that we have these triangle sides labeled, we have the ordered pair because from the origin, we go to the right, the length of the short side, which is one half. So that's the X coordinate. And then we go up the longer leg, the square root of three over two. And note that that's about 0.87. So our coordinates are one half square root of three over two. And now that we have the coordinates for the point in the first quadrant, we actually have them in all the others as well, because we're going to use the same special right triangle, the 60, 30, 90 triangle, and we just have to flip it or rotate it into different positions, but the side lengths will remain the same. So see, we can sketch it in here. Note that it's just the same triangle, okay? And I'll go ahead and sketch it in the third quadrant. And the fourth quadrant. So they all have that same reference angle of either 60 degrees or pi over three. 
Again, the lengths of the triangle legs didn't change, so all you have to do when you have an angle in a different quadrant is adjust the sign. Is it positive or is it negative based on which quadrant you're in? So in the second quadrant, we know we have to move in the negative x direction, so negative one half, but we're still going up the longer leg, root three over two. In the third quadrant, we know we're moving in both negative directions, negative horizontally and negative vertically. So we have negative one half and negative root three over two. And finally, in the first, fourth quadrant, we move right one half and down root three over two. So we learn our unit circle and we dig into all of this information so that we can find exact values for these angles. And so let's say we wanted to find, we'll just stick in the first quadrant right now, let's say we wanted to find the cosine of 60 degrees. Well, that's just a ratio of triangle sides. It's the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Think back to Sokotoa. So all we have to do is take our adjacent side of our 60 degree angle here, so that's one half, over the hypotenuse, one, and so we know it's just one half. And that's why the unit circle is really designed well. The hypotenuse is one, and so when we're dealing with this unit circle, the x-coordinate is going to be the cosine. And you'll see that the sine behaves similarly. If we do the sine, let's do it sine of pi over three. Of course, that's the same thing as 60 degrees. Our sine ratio is opposite over hypotenuse. And so opposite of 60 degrees is the longer leg, root three over two, and hypotenuse is still one. So the y coordinate will be our sign. All right, if we were trying to find the tangent of 60 degrees, we know that the tangent is simply the opposite, so root three over two, over the adjacent one half. And if you wanna do a little scratch work here, eventually you'll know the unit circle and its exact value so well, you probably won't have to do this. Um, but we'll calculate square root of three over two times the reciprocal of one half, two over one. And you'll see that gives us that the tangent of 60 degrees is the square root of three. So that's just a very small taste of exact values and how you, we'll use the unit circle to evaluate those. Um, do note that if you were finding an angle, an exact value of an angle in a quadrant other than quadrant one, you would need to make note of which sign you have, either positive or negative. Um, but that's really the only difference. Otherwise, you can simply use the, your knowledge of the first quadrant coordinates, and you can use your knowledge of which trig functions are positive or negative in certain quadrants. So again, this was a look at 60, 30, 90 triangles in the unit circle and how we can use them to find the ordered pairs. Um, I'll post some more links in the video description um, for the other special rectangles in the unit circle um, for how to label a unit circle in degrees and radians and a lot more. So check that out. Thanks so much for watching.